Hi, in this video for the Sign Piccolo 3 in 1 plus CI combo receiver, we're going to show you how you can pause and record live TV. So, to do this, the first thing is you need to go into menu and you need to go to media. Now, this menu will only be available to you once you have your external hard drive or um, you know, memory stick plugged in, and obviously, you can't really record unless you um, are paused it, unless you have these plugged in. So, we we'll go to PVR setting. And what you want to do is make sure time shift is on and time shift to record is on. Okay, so what you do then is you simply press exit and you're back out. And now the whole thing is enabled to run. So uh, the thing to do basically, you know, someone comes to the door, the phone goes off, you want to make a cup of tea, something like that. Just simply hit the pause button. So this should be familiar to anyone that has used Sky or FreeSat Plus or something like that before, or even maybe UPC digital services. So I'm just going to let it run for a little bit uh, so I can just show you a few other things. But just to explain a bit more, you can use a, um, a memory stick or you can use an external hard drive uh, to do this. You're always better off really to use an external hard drive. But a memory stick can work. But the problem with a memory stick is there's different uh, ratings on them for speed and stuff like that. And also they have a limited life cycle of read and writes. Okay, so by doing this and uh, pausing and doing all this stuff all the time, you know, eventually it'll die. So uh, the memory stick will. So, you know, an, a USB um, uh, external hard drive is probably the best way of doing it. Now, within the USB um, external hard drives, you have two types. You have a USB powered and you have a mains powered. So if you're using a USB powered one, you're better off to try and get the smallest version you can. So generally speaking these days, the smallest USB powered external hard drive you'll get is around 320 gigabytes. Try and use that if you can. Once you start getting up to 500s and bigger, it can become hit and miss because there just isn't enough juice in the box to power the larger drives. And when you get into the larger drives, you're better off to just use a mains powered one. So it, it provides its own independent power source, you know. So anyway... What I'll do here now is I'm just going to hit play and you can see it's smooth enough and it kicks on then from that and I'm like I'm a minute odd behind schedule there now or behind live TV. So what you can do also at that point then is you could fast forward through it a bit at different speeds and you can press play or you can rewind through it at different speeds and press play and you can see it's actually fairly smooth. Um, the other thing to note then is if you hit the stop button it'll bring you out to live TV or if you actually um, I'll get rid of that menu if you actually go to a different channel and then go back you're at live TV so that's basically a bit about the pause the pausing and time shifting okay so the next thing to look at then is recording live TV so fairly simple just hit the record button and it starts recording so it couldn't be simpler now the thing to note is I'm just going to pull up the channel list here now and you can see that suddenly EWTN, which is the channel I was on, is white and all the others are blue. I'm just going to go through them here. And this is because they're not available when you're recording, okay? Now, to explain a little bit further, the reason EWTN is white is obviously we're on that channel and we're using that transponder. If there was other channels on that same transponder, they would be white also and we could watch them as well. Now, you know, so when you're looking at the likes of BBCs, some of the BBCs may all be on the one transponder. So, you know, for argument's sake, I'm not saying this is exactly the scenario. You know, BBC one and two might be on the same transponder. So you could be recording BBC one, you could look at BBC C two. But one thing you can definitely do is if you're looking at, or sorry, if you're recording a UK channel, you can look at an Irish channel and vice versa. So that's the best way of thinking about it. Um, so that's it basically explained there. Um, so then just to stop live recording, just press stop. I'm sure you want to exit, press OK. So that's it basically, just a little bit about pausing and recording live TV on the uh, Edisai and Piccolo 3-in-1 plus CI combo receiver.